Hello everyone, my name is Will. I am a private music tutor. I tutor in voice, piano, flute, and euphonium, but I also act as a composer and an arranger. A composer and arranger um, will either write the music and notate it out, or they will arrange the music of a song. So let's say uh, there's a song you like that you want to play on piano. I could arrange that song so that you can play it. Um, I am going to talk about the Crescendo uh, notation software. So, what is notation software? That is where you actually notate or write down music. Um, I have used Finale, Sibelius, and MuseScore. Um, this is a by NCH Software Company. Um, all of those, Finale, Sibelius, MuseScore, is fantastic. I love them. They work great on a desktop or a laptop. I don't have those. <laughs> I have an iPad, which doesn't have a lot of memory, and I have my Kindle. So I am using Crescendo because I find that Crescendo tends to be the best option on the Kindle. There are a few other free notation software. Um, this one is for the most part free. Um, when you download it, you'll be able to notate everything and you'll be able to export, but you won't be able to like write um, words or anything in without paying a little bit more or there's something else there's, there's a couple things upgrades that you can pay for um for the most part you know i would it, it's worth the money just get the upgrades um it's only a few dollars it's really not that big a deal but anyways um so yeah so that's what we're working on today so um when you pull it up so i have pulled up a piece of work that i'm working on right now called nocturne a minor for flute cello and synthesizer because i'm fun um what you're going to see, this is this is kind of what you're looking at. Let me bring it up. So, there we go. Whoop. Sorry, my camera doesn't like to focus very much. I apologize. So that's kind of what it looks like. It's a basic notation software. Um, you can choose parts. So if you want to go ahead and choose parts, you're going to hit this part, this button here. And that has the different parts. Um, let's look at the flute line in particular. You're going to notice this menu over here. So it says instrument, flute, and sound. Uh, does it say sound? Sorry. Name, flute, instrument, flute. The instrument, the second place where it says flute, um, that will determine what sound you hear when you write. Now this is a new feature. When I first got Crescendo, everything was piano sounds. Now it's actually really great that when you pick an instrument, you can actually pick the instrument sound to go with it. So. Thank you, uh, NCH Software, for doing that. That's fantastic. I love it. It makes things make more sense when I listen to it. Um, I can hear what I'm hearing in my head on the actual Kindle instead of having to pretend that this piano has magically turned into a flute. So, amazing. Mwah. Thank you. <laughs> so that is how you would pick your parts. So once you pick your parts, um, you would get to this screen. As I said, you can see that I have a title. Um, all you would have to do to set the title, if you have a blank document, is hit that where it would say title and type it in, just like any other notation software. Um, what gets interesting is when we get into trying to do bass clef and treble clef, things like that. Um, so if I wanted to change the clefs, you have to hold down and then you get that mini menu, key signature, time signature, metronome marker, uh, repeat bar. So I have a metronome marker. You have to click the metronome mark and set it so you set the metronome mark to whatever you want if you want to show the metronome mark you go ahead and say that um, once you do that it shows up over here in the corner I have not been able to find a way to make the uh, the numbers bigger so that is one thing I'm hoping that NCH will come up with in the future is making that the tempo number as big as the actual note because um, right now it's like quarter note equals 80 um, and that would be so much better if you just saw quarter note equals 80. Um, obviously I'm running a nocturne it's slower but all of that whatever it's all good. Uh, the other thing is again by holding it down like we just did you get to the key signature and the time signature. Um, you know, it's really simple. You just click whatever one you want. Like, let's say key signature, you pick your signature. If you pick one that's different, it asks you if you want to change everything. You can say yes, you can say no, whatever you like. So that is how you do that. Um, if you wanted to change the clef, da, 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 you actually hold down the clef and you get this clef. Uh, clef, key signature, repetition. Repetition you use if you want to repeat. 
uh, clef, you would click the clef and tell it what clef you want. So it's it's actually really easy to use. Um, go on, now we're gonna go over here on this side. Obviously, I'm not going to write anything on here. I'm just giving you kind of an overview. Um, so far, so good. I actually tend to like this product for most things. Um, I will show you something that I don't really care for about it at the end too, because obviously I'm being fair, this is my honest opinion. Um, over here on this side, we're gonna actually see, do, 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 sorry, you're gonna see the notes. So you see the, ooh, that's out of focus. You see the whole note, half note, quarter note, eighth note, all that stuff. Uh, to write the music, all you gotta do is you gotta click. So I have eighth note clicked. I'm gonna say I wanna put an eighth note here. I don't, but let's say I do. I just click where I wanna put it. If I wanna change anything about it, those circles hold everything you need to change to add a fermata, a crescendo, a trill, uh, whatever. Um, if I don't like what I did, it's real simple. You just hit this lovely arrow button that I just pushed. See that's in blue? Then you would tap the note that you just put in. The note is now in blue. And you would hit the delete button. See the X delete, and magically your problem is solved. So um, that's kind of how it works. Now this is where I'm going to be honest. I would love to see improvements. Um, it, it you know as you scroll down here, you have the dynamic the dynamic markers that you can choose. You have clefs that you can change, key signatures, time signatures. You can even for all of our guitar friends. Add fretboard. Ooh, where are yeah? Add the fretboard markers if you don't want to actually have them read the music or just write the chords in. Um, when it comes to the playback, because you can play back everything. Like I will play. So this is what I've done so far. Let me just make sure sound is on. Da -da -da. So let's say I'm writing this song. I want to play it. That's great. I'm going to hit this play button. And you're gonna see that it is, oop, you probably can't see. Yeah, well you can hear that it's playing back, um, which is great. The problem turns into when you start using dynamics, I haven't really gone through, this is not a finished piece, so I didn't put dynamics and everything in like that yet. Um, the dynamics will work at the dynamic marker, but if you put like a crescendo, it doesn't really like go, it, it kind of just stays and then it's like, oh look, the next dynamic. So um, it would be fantastic to see that updated as well, NCH, thank you. Um, but whatever, so far so good. It is really good for the, the cost um, and for somebody using a tablet as opposed to a laptop. Um, so the next thing, so let's say I have finished. So this is their example. They have an example already made of the sugar dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy. Let's say I wanna go ahead and export it. It's really easy to do. Um, you go to, menu and da, da, da. well anyways you go to menu and you're going to go ahead and hit x oh i'm sorry there it is you hit export um when you hit export you just make the file whatever you want hit okay it'll save the file um you can export it as a midi you can export it as a mid image or a pdf now here's something I can't open. I'm gonna put this down because I would rather just talk. Uh, you can't, on my Kindle, for whatever reason, I can't open a PDF file. Um, I just, it doesn't support it. But when I download it as a PDF file, I'm running into an issue where if I write my name, uh, write the composer's name and my name as an arranger, they kind of smash together. So again, that's something that I'll be honest is a little lacking for me and I'd love to see NCH come up with a better solution for that in the future. However, it is easy to export. You're not paying to export per song. Um, once it is exported, it is perfectly fine to use. I'm on Sheet Music Plus. Um, I've been able to upload any export that I've done on here. Um, I've been able to use the MIDI files. It, it's been really good. So overall, what do I think of Crescendo? Crescendo, I would give a 4.5 out of 5. Um, <laughs> obviously, it helps me a lot because I write music um, and I do the arranging. Um, there's a few things, as I said, I'd like to actually see the crescendos uh, and all the different nuances affected by the uh, MIDI file, the actual MIDI sounds. Um, but I understand, you know, it is a program for the Kindle, so maybe it, it can't. I don't know, I'm not a computer programmer, I'm a musician. Um, <laughs> and as I said, the export gets a little weird when you have like written by blah, 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 
uh, arranged by blah 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 they just kind of smoosh together um, I haven't had that issue so much when I export it as an image uh, if I export it as an image it's pretty much exactly what the screen looks like um, it's, it's almost like a screenshot minus all the stuff around it so it, it, maybe it's more beneficial to use it as an image for now um, but yeah so again it's free um, if you type in Crescendo on your um, Amazon store for your Kindle, you can definitely get it. Um, I don't have it on any of my other devices, but uh, yeah. So I hope this helps you if you're somebody looking for a notation software. Um, I Again, I enjoy it. I use it frequently. I like a lot of the upgrades, being able to hear the instruments that are, are there instead of having to only hear piano. Um, it is fairly easy to work with, um, you know, it, just like everything on the Kindle, I forgot to mention, you know, if you do the whoop with your fingers, everything gets bigger and everything gets smaller. I mean, it, it really is great. Um, so yeah, so that is my review of the uh, notation program Crescendo by NCH Software Company. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Bye.